Hey guys, welcome back to another video. So in our last video, we understood the concept of Redux and its analogy with our railway booking center example. So in this video, we are going to implement and design our first Redux store by creating actions, reducers, and then we will put all this together and we will see how we can update and access data in our Redux store. So if this sounds interesting, then stick around. Also, don't forget to subscribe the channel and press the bell icon so that you don't miss the videos like this one. So let's get started. All right, guys, so I already have done a basic setup. So this is my HTML file and inside the HTML file, I have two scripts. The first script is the uh, CDN link for the Redux because we are going to create the actions and Redux store. So we need the dependency of the Redux. And the second one is the Redux store. This is the JavaScript file where we are going to write our code for creating the actions, reducers and store. So we don't need this HTML file. So I'll just remove this and this is the Redux store.js. And if I simply do a console.log and if I type hi, then we should be able to see the output here, which is hi. So let's go one step back and let's recall what we studied in our last video, the concept of Redux. So this was our Redux lifecycle, which we saw we have an action creator who creates an action. Then it dispatches the action to the reducer and then reducer has a power to update the state. So what we need first, we need to create the action creators and we need to have an action inside it. Then we need to have the reducers. So let's go in our code and let's create the action creator and the reducer. All right. So I'm going to remove this and first we need to create the action creators then we need to create the reducers and then we need to have the redux store all right so according to our example the action creators are the person who is submitting the form and this form will be the railway bookings booking form he wants to book a ticket so he will be submitting a form so this will simply be an javascript function so i'm write a function and I will name it as new booking. And this is going to be an arrow function. And this is going to return a action. So we know that an action consists of two fields. One is a type and another one is a payload and it is a plain JavaScript object. So I'm going to write a type. So here there will be a type and the other will will be the payload. So I'm going to give a payload as a object. So inside the payload, whenever we need to have a new booking, we submit a name in the name of booking and the other one will be the amount we submit for the ticket cost. So this will be the amount. All right. And this two fields we will be having as an argument. So I'm going to add here name and I'm going to add here as amount. All right. And we can do one more thing as we are using the ES6. So in the ES6, when the key and the value of an object are same, we can actually eliminate it. So I'm going to remove this and I'm going to remove this as well. All right. And the type will be the what type of the action it is. So it's a new booking. So a better naming convention for the type in Redux is you always give everything in an uppercase and then you separate the words with the underscore. So this will be a new booking. All right. So this is our action creator for the new booking. Similarly, a person can also do a cancel of booking. So what we will do, we are going to create one more action creator. So I'm going to add this and this action creator will be the cancel booking. And when you actually do the cancel of booking, you need to provide the name and you will have a refund amount. So I'm going to add a refund amount here. All right. And this will get changed to cancel. So I'm going to change this to cancel and this will become a refund amount. So I'm going to add a refund amount. All right. So now we have two action creators and we have the action as well. So the next thing we need to do is we need to create the reducers. So if we go back to our example, then we have the action creators. We created the actions, which is the new booking. And the other one is the cancel booking. Now we need to create the reducers, which will actually accept 
these actions when they are dispatched all right so let's go down here and our first reducer will be the reservation history so whenever we need to make a new booking first the ticket counter or the ticket booking clerk he has to take some data from the store and he has to see that what is the reservation list and he has to add this new booking into the reservation list so i'm going to create a constant and this will be the reservation history all right and this reservation history will be an arrow function and what it is going to do so when we do the reservation history it actually going to first take old reservation history which is already present so i'm going to do here old reservation list and this will be an array and the other parameter will be the action so our action will be i'm going to add a parameter as an action so let me reduce the screen size all right so this will be an action and now we have the action so we have two actions the one it can be a new booking and it can be a cancel booking so what we need to do if our action dot type is equal to equals to and this action type will be equals to new booking so i'm going to copy this and i'm going to add this new booking here then we need to perform something else if this action type is equals to the cancel booking then we need to do something else so if it's the cancel so i'm going to write the cancel booking then we need to perform something else and the next thing we'll do is if we don't have any of the action like the action which is passed is neither the new booking nor the cancel booking in that case we are simply going to return the old reservation list because we are not going to manipulate anything on the reservation list so now if it's a new booking what we will do we need to return something from here so while updating the state you always have to be a little careful and you never update the state like this so i will take the old reservation list dot push and i'm going to push the new record which is the action dot payload this is not the correct way of updating the state so a better approach and a correct way of updating is you always use a rest operator and then you add whatever the old list was and then you need to add the new list so you use a destructuring of array and inside the destructuring you take the old reservation list and then you actually add the new list which is the action dot payload all right so we have written the new state but what if the case is that it's a cancel booking so in the cancel booking what we need to do we need to actually remove the name of the person from the reservation list so for that what we are going to do we are going to return here and we are going to filter the results so what i'm going to do i'm going to take the old reservation list then i'm going to add the filter and inside the filter i'm going to get the record all right then i'm going to add an arrow function and what i'm going to do i'm going to return here if my record is not equal to equals to the action dot payload dot name and this filter is actually going to return an array so that's why we are not using the brackets because it's already going to return an array all right now a reducer receives an action which doesn't matches to any of these then we don't need to do anything so we are going to just return this old reservation list all right and we need to create an another reducer which will be the cancellation history so i'm going to copy this and i'm going to change this to cancellation history so this will become cancellation history and i'm going to get the old cancellation history list which will be an array then i will have an action and i will not be having this part so i'm going to remove this so what we need to do is when there is a cancellation we need to add that payload in our cancellation list so if this type is equals to cancellation then we need to return an array and we are going to take the old cancellation list and inside the old cancellation list we are actually going to add the new record so this will become action dot payload all right so we are done with the cancellation and the third reducer will be the accounting whenever you do the new booking or a cancellation of the booking then you need to pay the amount or you get some refund amount so i'm going to copy this and i'm going to add it here 
and this will be changed to the accounting and this will be the total money so total money and we are going to set the initial value that initial the railway booking center is having a hundred dollars all right and then there will be an action and then what i'm going to do that if my action is if the action dot type is equals to equals to new underscore booking so if we have a new booking that what I want to do I want to return the total amount plus when you do a new booking you actually pay some amount to the railway store so for that I'm going to do the action dot payload dot amount so this is where we are adding some money to the railway store because we will pay some amount for our ticket reservation but if it's a cancellation so I'm going to do else if and if it's a cancellation that in that case what we are going to do uh, there will be a total money and we need to minus that amount what will be the refund amount so I'm going to do action dot payload dot refund amount all right and if the case is not either the new booking or the cancellation then whatever the money is I'm going to return that money back all right so we have done the action creators we have done the actions we have created the reducers and the next thing we need to do is let's go back here and the next thing will be the store now we need to create the store so let's create the store so I'm going to go here in the reducer and inside the reducer what we need to do is let me show you one thing I'm going to do simply console.log and I'm going to add redux here and if I save it then you will see that we get a console lock of the Redux functions and this is because we have added the Redux library in our HTML file. So from this we need two things one is the create store and another one is the combined reducers. So what I'm going to do I'm going to write a constant and I'm going to use destructuring and inside the destructuring first I need the create store so I'm going to copy the create store. And I also need the combined reducers so I'm going to copy the combined reducers and I'm going to add the combined reducers here and this both are coming from Redux. Alright so first I'm going to create a constant and this constant will be the railway central store and this central store consists of all the departments like the accounting department, the cancellation history, the reservation history. So to get everything combined we are going to use a combined reducer and this combined reducer is a function and it accepts a object which is a key value pair. So what I'm going to add here I'm going to add the accounting this will be equals to accounting then we have the reservation so this will be a reservation history this will be equal to reservation history then we have the cancellation history and this will be equals to the cancellation history. Alright so we have combined all our reducers and we have created a central store. Now we need to assign this central store to our create store. So let's go and create the store. So I'm going to write constant this will be our store and this is equals to the create store and I'm going to pass this railway central store inside it. Alright so that's it we have created our first Redux store where we actually done the action creators we did the actions then we created different reducers for different departments and then we created the redux store and then we assigned the store to the create store which will actually contain all the departments now the point is how we are going to test this so what we are going to do is you need to dispatch your action to the reducers so what we have we have a store and this store is always having a dispatch method so I'm going to add a dispatch here and we know that what we actually dispatch we dispatch an action so we need to have an action here all right and what is this action is our action can be a new booking or our action can be a cancel booking so I'm going to create an action here so constant action and this action will be the new booking and when we have the new booking we actually pass two arguments so in this new booking we need to pass the name and the amount so what I'm going to do I'm going to book my ticket so I will give my name as the page and my ticket cost will be $20 alright and I have passed the action now if I save it then 
you won't see anything but actually my data is now inserted into my store and how do we access the data so to access the data we can do console.log and inside the console.log I'm going to write the store dot and we have one more method which is the get state so I'm going to write get state all right and if I save it then you should be able to see that we have different departments here accounting now changes to 120 because the initial value of accounting was hundred dollars and a new reservation happened in the name of the page so the central store received 20 more dollars so the total amount with the railway store is now having 120 dollars and if we go to the reservation then there will be a reservation under my name the page and the amount if we go to the cancellation there is no cancellation yet so this is how the redux store is and how beautiful it is to work with so now what we are going to do i'm going to create some more actions so i'm going to copy this and i'm going to add some more actions and i can actually directly copy this and add it here so i'm going to copy this and add it here and there is an another booking with the name of alex who is going to pay ten dollars then i'm going to create one more so this new booking will be in the name of amit and he is going to pay thirty dollars so this time we are going to have a cancellation booking so i'm going to do a cancel booking and i want to do a cancel booking for the page and when he do the cancel bookings he is going to refund only the ten dollars and not the twenty dollars so let me first comment this out and i will comment this out as well all right and we are just going to see these three actions which will be the new booking and if i save it then you will see that the value changes automatically now the accounting becomes 160 which is because 20 this becomes 30 and this becomes 60 and 100 was already the initial value so it becomes 160 and we have three reservations in the name of the page alex and amit now let's try and do the cancel booking so i'm going to do the store dot cancel booking so we need to cancel the booking of the page and he is going to get a refund of 10 so 10 will be reduced from our accounting so the accounting will become 150 and the reservation history will only show two reservations the alex and amit and the cancellation history will show one cancellation which is the, the page so if i save it then you will see that now we have accounting as 150 reservation is still i can see three reservations so something is wrong in our store and if i go to the cancellation then i can see the cancellation which is the page and fund amount is 10 so let's go and fix this so in the reservation all right so this is the reservation and go here and we see the old reservation list and from the old reservation list this will become record dot name so if i save it now and if i see then we can see the page is the cancellation history and the reservation is amit and alex so you have created and designed your first redux store so that's all i have in this video i hope you like the video a thumbs up is appreciated you can also connect with me via facebook or instagram you can follow me on twitter for latest updates and don't forget to subscribe the channel guys and thank you thanks for watching